Sayyida al Hura, the first Islamic pirate queen. Many people claim that modern day drama Game of Thrones is based on the life of Sayyida al Hura, the 16th century pirate queen. Though Islamic records of the time are strangely silent about her, she was a powerful force of the time and an equal ally of the famous pirate Barbarossa. Born in the Kingdom of Granada, the last Muslim ruled state in Spain, her family moved to Morocco after the fall of the empire in the year 1492. The city of Tituan in northern Morocco, which Saida ruled, was first settled around the 3rd century, but had been destroyed earlier in the 15th century by the Castilians. Sayyida, along with her first husband, rebuilt the city after the Reconquista refugees received permission from the Sultan of Morocco to settle and fortify the area. Following the death of her husband in 1515, Sayyida became the last person in Islamic history to legitimately hold the title of al hura the Queen. She is also known as Hakima Tetouan, meaning Governor of Tetouan. Perhaps because of the memory of being forced to flee her home in childhood, Saida decided to become a pirate against her Christian enemy. She reached out to Barbarossa of Algiers, who controlled the eastern Mediterranean Sea, while she controlled the west and assembled her own fleet. She wreaked havoc on Spanish and Portuguese shipping lines and was the undisputed leader of the pirates in the region. When she later remarried the king of Morocco, she had no intention of giving up her power, and instead of going to the capital city, she made the king come over to Titois. This is the first time and only time in the history of Morocco that the king did not get married in the capital. After ruling for 30 years, Saida was deposed by her son-in-law in 1542. She was stripped of property and power and her ultimate fate is unknown. She vanished from history altogether. That's the life of Sayyid al hura the first Islamic pirate queen. For more videos like these, don't forget to like and subscribe to Mighty Heroes.